hey welcome today uh, let me show you how to calculate average standard deviation and standard deviation of mean using Google Sheets Google Sheets is a free to use software available for all Google users first of all let me show you how easily we can calculate the average for which we will use the formula average and then select the data range like this and when we hit enter we will get the average value similarly we will use the function stdev.s for a finite number of values so here we have 10 number of values which is finite and we select all those and hit enter to get the standard deviation similarly we get the standard deviation of mean which is the standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of measurements or the number of values so this is our standard deviation we divide by the square root using the square root function so square root function and can directly insert the number 10 because we have 10 values or we can count all our values using the count function so let me show you how to use the count function as well so here I use the count function and select all the data that is from this series under the values column so here we get the standard deviation of the mean Similarly, we can also calculate the relative standard deviation or the relative uncertainty which is used for uncertainty measurements of a series of measurements. Because I am a chemist, I use a lot of uncertainty measurements. So I am I'm, I'm showing you how to generate the relative uncertainty of a series of measurements using this kind of a uh, data sheet. So, relative uncertainty or the percentage relative uncertainty is the uncertainty or the standard deviation of mean with respect to the mean value so, I'm sorry I have uh, used the wrong uh, function uh, I will use the wrong values uh, now uh, this is the standard deviation of mean divided by the mean value so here it is this is the relative uncertainty if we express it in percentage we will call it percentage relative uncertainty or percentage RSD which we will have to multiply it with a uh, hundred to get in terms of percentage so this is how we get the relative standard uncertainty so this is simple and we have used these four functions to calculate the average standard deviation and the standard deviation of the mean so all these functions are similar to those present in Microsoft Excel. So we can use those functions in Google Sheets as well. If you have liked uh, this small tutorial, you can subscribe to my channel for such kind of videos in future and also hit the bell icon so that any future videos are notified to you as soon as it is uploaded. So thank you, see you soon.